Hey, thanks for watching. We're going to check out this new game that just came out. It's called Fabledom. I think I played the demo or something way back when. But... It's been almost two centuries since oh. I had a visitor. Do excuse the mess. It piles up over the years, you know. Sounds like our advisor wizard is already chiming in. Anyway, this game looks really cute. Ah, and it's a story you want. We're going to start a story today and just see what's going on. This is basically sight unseen for me. So we're going in just to see how it goes. And here's a new map that was generated for us. Uh, we'll play on the standard mode. And let's check it out. Oh, it can't go there. This one, it tells you what kind of stuff it's got. I wouldn't mind a dense forest, a large place, and a large ocean. I guess large amount of ocean relative to land mass. This is just a medium realm. Neat. Uh, I can, I'll start with this one. And yes, we can be any of these things. I actually think I want to play the fantasy of the princess today. And uh, all I've gotten so far is to the uh, title screen here where I looked around and then I, I saw this uh, Kraken design and I was like, okay, I'm done. We're I'm sold. I'm ready to go. Let's uh, let's make a game here. And uh, you get to pick who you're looking for to. You know, a princess looking for their prince charming. I feel like is like very, oops, the moment. But I I'm gonna select any just uh, just to keep our options open. You know, and uh, it's B be the gamer 100 your channel you're watching thank you for checking us out all right let's let's play the game and find out what's going on here this is going to be like a chill builder oh and he's going to explain it to us i guess we're looking for our fairy tale romance to come true once upon a time it goes a story told of love and woes when all the kings and queens of yore sent forth their children to explore. New lands of plenty, fields and trees, fertile, yielding, birds and bees. It's your turn, prince or princess you. Discover, conquer, daring do. <laughs> I like how the prince is just like a black remember, knight. Remember, <laughs> friend, tis not just sword that makes one lady or a lord to build a kingdom tis an art but don't neglect your spirit's heart through love or war these lands ignited shall ever after be united now go be kind be cruel be scrappy and make your ever after happy. Okay, so basically I guess the idea is we're going to be settling a new land in the kingdom area that we chose and building it's like a city builder and but meanwhile there's this extra fantasy element of story tour st story of fairy tale stories where we have to find our true love, our romance, our Prince Charming, or Princess, um, what? Princess. Also Charming? They can be both. Or whatever. So, we'll just wait for the load. And here we are. Chapter one, a new beginning. WASD, good times. S scroll, nice. Middle mouse or Q and E, I love that. This is, this is exactly what I wanted out of a control system. Where were we? Oh yes, our kingdom began with little more than a humble laborer's hut. Now, where did that go again? Hmm. Let's see here. Yeah. 
Hmm. 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 I wonder if it could be this circle flashing construction menu item. So, oh yeah, look, look at that. What do you know? A laborer's hut. Oh, and roads. We need roads too. So here's all of our little people. We can pause the game while we're looking around. We got Joan Flores because she's unemployed, probably homeless too. Just they're enjoying their free time. Sadie. Sarianne, Ann. Carrie Ann. Ralph. Well, let's get you employed. And it looks like we're going to have to build a road too. Oh, and it costs money. So uh, five gravel road. Let's see. Fablings. So that's what our little people are called. They're called Fablings. Fablings will always try to follow roads to the best of their ability. So connecting roads to the blue arrows coming out of those buildings indicates uh, uh, that'll help guide them. So that's like, make sure that they can get a path into their buildings, probably. Okay, so this is our little area. And it looks like we've got some hilly places over here. Uh, a rock stone quarry we might want to mine over there. So we probably don't want to build our homes too close to that. So why don't we start over here somewhere. And we want to build just five. One, two, three, four, five roads. And you gotta click again. Oh, and nope, click one more time. There we go. And let's go to our laborer's hut. And we'll just build it on the side of the road here. There we go. Yeah, it's coming along. Workplace requires Fablings to operate. You can assign Fablings by clicking on any of the available plus slots or by clicking manage workers. Let's see. There's the plus slots, but where's ah manage workers? And you can select ah, I see. Let's say let's make Ralph and Sadie the ones to go. And they can be our laborers. And we get to claim more money for completing our training tutorial quest. Look at us. Look at us go. Okay. So now that we've got the laborer's hut, they are going to labor for us in order to build our homes. The homesteads. Ooh, 25 gold? We only have... Wait. Not 10. Oh, hot damn. We got tons of gold. All right. We, that's fine. Never mind. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and build our homestead. Some buildings use foundations and attachments. After placing the homestead, hold and drag to place the foundation. Attachments are placed automatically by default, but if you prefer, you can disable that feature and place them manually. So they get little backyards. Why don't we start with this and then give them a little backyard and then it yeah there it goes automatically placing the what is that that is the beehive ah well I'm fine with it just randomly assigning them for varieties sake unless I start to find that it's like really good to do something in particular just let them get some random stuff I'm sure it'll work out everything will work out fine all right, so if we place that down and build it, then the laborers will begin to use our stockpile here, I guess, to build this place up. Great. And we want, oh, two attachments inside. And then we actually have to assign the head of household. Okay, so, well, we might as well just start designing the rest of these homesteads while we're at it and you know get some homes for these other people around here see we've got it could have a clothing line the doggy house so adds desirability that's nice the outhouse the small greenhouse and chicken coop and an apple tree I feel like the ones that grow things is are good but having some desirability around is probably also going to help our town be happy and oops there we go you it's nice it seems like you know it saves your progress Ooh, the first homestead yippee this is where your fablings live and eat 
A head of household is required for the homestead to operate smoothly. Now, make sure one has been assigned, won't you? Head of household. Uh, okay. Can assign one by clicking manage household. It looks like they auto assigned it for us anyway, so no problem, right? That would probably become annoying if you had to do do that all the time. And there's three people in the house. So the head of household will they'll take care of business to make sure the house is up kept and fed and stuff, I guess. They have enough coal and food and other such things. Uh, but we need to claim our prize, and then we need to build the well, because apparently people need water. Like, Fablings are like humans in that regard. Uh, make sure we have the area effect. So, yeah, like in a lot of other games, you got the area of effect. You want to make sure it's covering all your peeps. And, uh, yeah, well, you might as well just build this here then. And you know what? I'll build it a little this way, because we don't really need that mountainside to be <laughs> covered. Uh, some buildings require upkeep, however. Oops. Uh-oh. So, they take three upkeep, it looks like. And no upkeep currently, but it will come up in our next one once it's built. Okay. I think we can afford to build some more roads. Just to flush this place out a little bit. And you know what I'm going to do is build a road up this way. Because sooner or later, we're going to want to go around this mountainside. And uh, that'll still run into it. I kind of want to like be far enough over that if we build like a main road down, it'll be able to like pipe. Nice, strong shortcut past that mountainside there. So let's just go ahead and make this path in that direction. That way we know that's the direction we're building in in the future. And meanwhile, we got to put some more houses down. So why don't we build a house like here? Uh, three by... Th I think this is the biggest you can make them. That seems like a nice little house, a little corner house. And maybe we'll build the main road going down in this direction as well. Cool. And our well is finished. And now we just have to welcome a new Fabling. So I guess we are at four out of six potential because we have... Oh, I know why. Because each house holds three people. And we've built two houses ah, successfully. Finally. Here come our first newcomers. As long as you keep your population happy, more will want to join. As long as there is room, of course. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Every eight days, the new ones will arrive at your borders if we are desirable enough. And we have to decide if we want to allow them in. So... Click the button. Hooray, confetti! And we get to collect our reward. And we got some new tutorial objectives. Building a farm, 30 vegetable crops, and assigning a farmer. Okay, so what's going to be a great farmland? I feel like the homes are affected by bad noise or stuff, something. I, you know, I've played a city builder or two in my time, I'm just saying. <laughs> and uh, what we can do is make sure that we don't build the homes where they're going to be bothered in the future, but I don't think farms are going to be a problem in that same regard. So why don't we pause? Let's look. This is our happiness rating. We haven't looked at that. So we're we're mid middling happy. We don't really have anything going on yet, but we'll get there eventually. I'm, I have a feeling we're going to be rewarded with an objective in a, the very near future for building some kind of uh, mood boosting happiness thing. Meanwhile, food production. Let's take a look over here. Farms. Yes, this is what we're looking for. We want to gather vegetables. Grain maybe later. Upkeep cost is five and employs three peasants. 
we don't need to overbuild these yet because uh, let's see R to rotate cool cool yeah we don't need to overbuild just yet because we'll get there soon enough I'm sure but why don't we build this over here like this and choose our vegetables okay Cabbages, uh, carrots, these seem to be all the same growth rates, cauliflower, beets, or pumpkins. Well, I think our cabbages will be our first crop here. And we're at five by two. How, is this, how many is it going to make for us? And can we grow it bigger later? We'll find out. Crops will grow over time as long as at least one farmer is assigned. Crops will die when the winter arrives. Very well. Once this is built, we'll be able to assign someone to it. So why don't we attach these blue dots to the road and make this new path down this direction. Okay, and it seems like 10 is the amount of crop space that we built. So maybe we can make more cabbages? What what will happen if I, I don't know, say made the field this much bigger? 17 out of 30. Okay, it's coming along. 24, what about... Twenty-eight. Uh, I just need two more little spots, but but the symmetry, the symmetry. Okay, what if I just extend the back row? One more thing here. Oh, perfect. Actually, we're perfect at thirty. So what do you know? All right. So does that mean every two? Can I delete? No, I can't unpause at least and let them keep going oh see I am at 32 so it just stopped counting at 30 yeah so every square counts as a square that kind of tracks you know I'm glad the logic is here and since we built this thing so big I'm seeing the road potential just to kind of cut down this direction just to make a little shortcut out that direction. And you know what, while we're at it, we might as well just have this go around that way too. Who knows, in the future we might want a shortcut around the farm. Okay, look at us, look at us go. We'll just wait for this to be done. There we go. The farm is finished. And you know what? I think I will make a another road path just down this way. And kind of maybe make this like a town square center thing in the long run. Oh, roads can be upgraded. Interesting. Well, I'm not sure if we need to upgrade anything just yet. We're still growing. Still a brand new village. All right, last thing we need to do is assign a worker to be the farmer. So let's assign one of our free people, claim our reward, and then let's move on to building a lumber camp. Ah, so we're going to have to take some wood out of these woods here. Uh, I haven't left a lot of space for forestry industry, maybe. But uh, we might be able to squeeze one in beside the farm here. So let's look at resource production. A lumber camp. There we go. So. In the indicated area. So basically anywhere where around it is free game, eh? Well, let's try without destroying any trees. That's about as good as we can get, I think, to get this back area. So let's build this 
like that and we'll make a new road oh and we got some more visitors if we can fit them let's take them let's make sure we have a road connected up to our forestry hut and I might as well keep going out that direction eventually we'll probably get this other tile and then expand up this way ooh especially because Bob Bar <laughs> Bob Barkskin is over here this old guy, this tree, is an encounter uh, that we will send our hero to have, once we build our hero, that is. Okay, oh, and look at this, stockpile, that's another thing we probably gonna want to get. Uh, this scroll is, like, pretty slow, can I, ooh, can I make this faster, maybe? Better, better. All right, let's get right down here and enjoy these beautiful aesthetics as we assign our worker and collect our new lumber camp. Uh, now we just have to collect taxes. Well, that should be easy enough passively to happen. So fine. Ah, and here we go. Our secondary goal, placing decorations. This is what I was waiting for. We want to, yeah, I assume amenities, no. Essential, no. Decorations. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, it looks like some newcomers will arrive soon. But there's no available housing. No housing. Uh, to see how many days are left until the next arrival, hover over the population icon at the top of your screen. There we go. Okay, so we are eight out of nine. We'll get our milestone at ten. So we just need to build another house to make sure we have enough space within the next five days. So let's pause and make sure we get this done. Uh, let's see here. Should we build a little neighborhood in this nook back here maybe? Too close to the hill. Interesting. Too close to the hill. Will I be able to build... Hold on. Will I be able to build this? No. Interesting. All right, only one little space up there. What if we... Can we... Hmm. All right, it looks like there's a way out of the fence over on this side, so I think I'd like to make a road up this direction. can't build on the hill. Dang. Very little space over here, actually. I think we can fit a house in here. build the backyard in whatever space is available there. Great. And while we're at it, we might as well just build another house. I give you a funny backyard, too. Building right up to the hill here. And you know what I think we can fit? Why not? One more house in while we're at it. Really fill out this space. Not enough coin. Oh no. Alright, I guess we gotta wait for some people to arrive. Meanwhile, let's place some decorations while we can afford them. A nice bench in front of your house to enjoy. Maybe just a nice bush plant over here. Beautifies the corner small flower pot some pink flowers i like that uh oh you don't want to can't block the building oh i see all the little blue dots let you know so this one will cover both those houses if i place it there and this guy still needs some beautification around their house so let's try 
Let's just give them another little bench over at the side of their house here. I think that'll be lovely. Look at our pretty little village. Oh, and look at our cabbages. Yes, look at our pretty little village coming together here. And our cute little farm. So many cabbages. And we still have one unemployed person, so we can probably find something for them to do. We have a lumberer. And what else? Attachments. The forester. Let's let's see if we can unlock that soon. Maybe uh, ha get some help on this giant cabbage farm while it's still spring. Oh, and there we go. More visitors. Hooray! We've reached the new milestone. Goodness gracious! We've already managed to find enough fablings brave enough to trust us with their livelihood to call ourselves a hamlet. So, going forward, your family will expect recurring payments of coin to the family fund. Oh, so basically it's like our lord tax that we'll have to pay. We got some 50 coins. We have the inn. So it just requires food. It's kind of, I guess it's like the tavern, but they don't have to drink. Maybe there's no drinking in this game. They just need food. And the stone camp, there we go. So I told you that we were gonna mine that stone over there. The coal maker, yeah, we're gonna need to burn some stuff to make some coal to heat the homes through the winter. Luckily, it's still spring. We've got some time to get this set up. And then the granary storage. And oh, I, I also noticed the stockpile. We never built that. And there's the forester that we were looking for as well. So why don't I just pause and then we'll take a look through at some of our new stuff to do here. Uh, the stockpile, yes. I think we want a stockpile around here somewhere so that we can, oh, and there we go, the stockpile lots. We're gonna wanna attach a couple of those around the stockpile, great. So, dynamic storage, yes. So you can check the boxes if you don't wanna accept anything. For now, we'll accept everything because we don't, we only have one stockpile, so it's the only place for it to go. And, what was I saying about the attachments? The, yes, the Forester. We don't have enough money to build that right now. And I'm actually not sure. I think these trees will come down as they get chopped. So we do need the Forester to replenish our forest area here. So we'll see, make sure that gets done. What else are we looking for? The laborers hut, we know about that. The amenities, the inn. Again, it costs 50, so we're gonna have to wait till the next round before we can build the inn. But I think the inn will be going somewhere in the central square where all of our housing so far is, because I assume that's, everybody's gonna wanna be able to go to their local pub. Who doesn't enjoy a good local pub? And while we're waiting, we'll just take a look down here. Oops. Emily's enjoying a nice sit on the bench. We've got Violet doing some transporting of goods. We got Emily and Carrie Ann doing the farming. And looks like, ah, there's the laborer coming along for this dock pile. Oh, and we placed our three decorations have been finished being built, so we can claim that. And we reach the next milestone here. Lovely. And we got our payment. Look at that. All right, so we're ready to go. Our taxes are coming along naturally. We wanna build the stockpile, which is already under construction. We wanna build the stone camp. Yep, that's right, I forgot about that one. So let's look at resource production, the stone camp. Oh, and also the coal maker. So. Here we go, yes, some buildings need to connect to a resource to function. So we will make sure it's basically on top, over top. There we go. Where's your blue little blue dots? 
coming out of. I guess we'll place it this direction then. And once again, we're going to have to wait till we get some more money to build this coal maker. But in the meanwhile, they'll build up the stockpile and our stone cutters. And we got seven more days for more people, and we should have enough people around. Oh, look at that. Man, we're getting paid so fast here. All right, the charcoal maker. Some buildings have a negative effect on desirability by the red shape. Yeah, we saw the same red shape around the stonecutter's lodge. So place them far away from your houses. Yeah, exactly. Alrighty. Why don't we... Ooh, I would like to place this maybe... Yeah, why not over here? And we'll have another road coming up this side of the stockpile. In fact, why don't we build... If the stockpile is three out of three attachments, like three out of three slots, and we can't upgrade it. Not sure. But if we can't upgrade it to be bigger anyway, we might as well draw the road around it. Uh, can you delete roads? Dem demolition tool. Yeah, okay, so, for example, yeah, I could delete a road. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Just in case, but might as well build a little circle around the stockpile so it's easier to get around to for the moment, especially since all of our industry is now basically surrounding this little circle. But I feel like we're missing something. The granary. The granary is going to hold the farm goods, so we might as well place that directly across the street. Again, once we have to, the money, <laughs> again, to get, get this going. And do we have enough? No, we, we're going to want to build another house. No, we'll get this house built soon enough, too. So we always make sure we have plenty of room for these people to come in. The next ones will come in six days. So we'll see you in maybe six days. Okay, here we go. Two visitors building up our population, still waiting on some money, but our stockpile's been built and we assigned a worker to it. So we're just waiting for our stone camp. Looks like they're harvesting our cabbages, which is great. And then as soon as we have enough money, I think we're gonna have to try to build the granary ASAP. So we have somewhere to put all of these cabbages. I'm not sure if it shows. Yeah, see, uh, they have a 100 limit of stuff that they can store, so. Not sure how many cabbages we're going to get out of this harvest, but it looks like they've harvested about half the field and we're already half full. So yeah, it's probably going to fill up. All right. And there we go. We got our payment. So let's build the granary right across the street so that they have an easy time getting to it. I'm not sure how it works with like delivering goods to houses and like a marketplace style thing yet. If it, the granary should be closer to the farm or closer to the market we know how it's all set up there i started playing manor lords obviously everybody's you know number one list wish listed game i was pretty hyped for it too jumped right on top of that uh but you know we'll get to the manor lords video some other time for now this is fabledom and hopefully you're enjoying our little tutorial time here uh, as we go through sight unseen like i said for myself so we're learning together. If you wanted to do the tutorial and learn about the game, but didn't want to read and just wanted me to read everything to you, that's what this is for. Or you know, or just to chill and see how we build up our little town. I really like how this is coming together. Actually, uh, I didn't realize that it ended up being so um, symmetrical. But uh, what are you gonna do? You know, we're building a, a cute little town, and sometimes symmetries hmm, help. This can't be right. It seems you got a letter from a secret admirer, odd. Well, I suppose there's no accounting for taste. Hey. They're just joshing. <laughs> you can open it by clicking the letter icon at the top center of your screen. You will let me know if there's anything good. I don't, I don't get out much anymore. <laughs> uh, our advisor wants the juicy goss. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you're lucky you said you were just joking, uh, guy. Otherwise, beheadings for you. 
uh, as you can see, uh, we got our 200 tax uh, collection reward, so that's great. And we have received a letter from Farah. Hello, Farah. Hi, hey, LB. That's me. Truly, we live in the most exciting of times. These new lands will reward will reward the industrious i intend to build 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 my little worker bees tell me you are similarly inclined perhaps we are meant to be together like sprocket and chain let's talk farah the tinker princess well farah you seem like an industrious little worker so yes we'll build the most productive town of all time Perhaps once we get to this waterfall, we can build some kind of water mill or something. We'll see how it goes. Meanwhile, let's unpause and get back to our game. We still just need to build the forester in order to fulfill our objective. And looks like we finally have enough money and space to do it in. So where should their hut go? I feel like I kind of want to put it here but also I don't want to just get rid of it that's just one more valuable tree that they could be harvesting so why don't we just attach it well why don't I just, I'll just wait for him to chop down that this tree if he chops this one and then that one's next maybe that'll be good enough and, on, and we'll come back once that's done meanwhile we can get this in in place some buildings have a positive effect on desirability so they're green aura. So let's make sure we place it close to our housing district, which is right over here, of course, perfect. Oh, and it really, need, it needs some space for its entrance, that's for sure. So yeah, let's just place it right smack dab in the middle, or you know what, I'll place it a little bit over to this side of things. That way, it looks like it hits all of our houses, and then it leaves us some more room for uh, this this side of things. Perfect. All right, let's place one more little bench down over here for these two houses. They need some decoration time. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's. No, 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 no. The simple, the simple bench. I'll get rid of the simple bench and oh I don't want to block off their their backyard exit either what about the double bench though oh no I'm definitely blocking their backyard exit all right never mind I do want the single bench but it should be on this side so that it doesn't block their exit welcome new visitors and we're getting full again, so we're going to have to build some new houses as well while we're at it. Alright, how's that? That might work out. Kind of some funny yard shapes, but I, I like that. This guy's got, I tried it out, he's got kind of like a double backyard going on. A little side yard and a little back backyard. And that's as far as we can fit into the back of the hill here, so got two more days for some more people and we've got just enough space for the two more people meanwhile our tavern is getting finished here ah the trusted village inn a personal favorite <laughs> the inn adds happiness to its surroundings and the happier your kingdom is the more efficient your workers get it also helps attract more visitors okay amenities they will move, produce, and gather resources faster if they are happy. That's great to know. Let's see. The inn doesn't have any nobles, but it serves the peasants and the commoners. Well, we don't have any nobles yet, but do we have... Uh, let's see. Four unemployed people. We'll definitely get somebody up in this inn right away. The storage here. Oh, and the granary's been built. Let's definitely get somebody working in there. We got somebody working in the stockpile, and we got the stone camp up, so let's get somebody working in, in there, too. We got two more visitors, so why don't we assign two people? Oh, and there's a new milestone reached as well. So, a new population milestone has been reached. Well done. 
You can now call ourselves a small village. Going forward, your family will expect recurring payments of five coins to the family funds. So that's our new tax rate. But it seems like we're making plenty of cash. So cash, gold, coin. Anyway, new things we can do. Nobility. Ah, we were just talking about that. Nobility can be used as... No, wait. We were, we we're looking for nobles. This is nobility. This is a currency for special actions and items. It also influences some interactions with other rulers. So that's kind of our um, fairy tale fable romance thing. We got some money that for free, that's nice. The messengers guild can be sent to other realms to greet their rulers and send messages and gifts. Again, okay, so we're interacting with the other rulers on the world map and you know, making our romance, we can like message far back, that kind of thing. The sawmill, keep fingers away from the big sharp spinning blade. Yeah, so sawmill, I guess, to leverage the wood resource into more fancy planks or something like that. And uh, crops, we can build wheat now instead of just vegetables on our farms. That's awesome. And there's our 10 nobility. 69 happiness nice 18 out of 18 people so we got to get these new houses built up so that we can house a couple more people when eight days away they're gonna come maybe we can fit in another house while we're at it since our village is coming along so nicely look at this beautiful industry over here and our cute little town around our central square and inn over here oh wait what's this a world event. The Good Brigand. Brigand. Needs your attention. Expires in three days. I'm the princess. Your fablings seem quite happy to live here. They are lucky to have someone like you around. Tell you what. I've heard rumors of a particularly greedy financial advisor in the kingdom. Perhaps we should try to <clears throat> borrow some of his coin. Marianne Hood. So... Uh, like, uh, kind of like Robin Hood, but Maid Marian, Marianne Hood. Okay, yeah, yeah, I get it. Uh, let's see. Go big. 50% chance. Uh, we spend all of our nobility to maybe get 500 coin. I don't know if I really need the money that bad. I know it's, like, taking a minute to build up, but, like, it's, it's coming in. It's coming in. Play it safe. Uh, we just spend five and are guaranteed 200. This doesn't sound too bad at all, actually. But uh, I don't know what else I might want to spend this nobility on. It seems like a good resource. Just getting a big bunch of money. I don't. I don't know if I need to steal from anybody right now, uh, even if they do deserve it. So let's just pass on that. Well, we're making plenty of money on our own. We don't need to spend our fancy resource. We might want something better to do with that in the near future all right let's get back and figure out if we can fit in one more of these homesteads here maybe this guy and since this is all on oh wow yeah i really can't do any of that okay this guy's gonna have a really small yard and i don't think you want a tree right there but maybe uh, maybe have a, a beehive. Lots of beehives in the area. But behind your clothesline, you can fit one of those. In. Oh, and our charcoal maker's done. We got some unemployed people. So let's get somebody in there. Uh, let's get... Aha! Uh -huh. We can finally build our forester's hut, I see, now that this tree's coming down. There we go. And while we're at it, let's assign our last unemployed worker at the moment to fill out the lumber camp. So the lumber camp workers work both the lumber camp and the attached forester's hut. So having two people working between those two jobs makes sense to me. Maybe we'll even fill in the third slot. So we have uh, lots going on there.
All right, looks like we've successfully built all of these things to claim our first reward. And what's this? The overview menu is new. The overview menu is a great tool for managing your realm as it starts to grow. From here, you can get an overview of your fablings, workplaces, and more. Switch between tabs to see more information. So we have our population, the names of all of our people, if their needs have been met, looks like desirability, like happiness, nice places to live, and hunger, everybody's got enough food, their class, they're all peasants, and then this is what they're working at. Ah, head of household is its own whole job, I guess? Or maybe they have a second job and that's just... They're doing something else too? I'm not sure, actually. Okay, workplaces. Uh, yep, we can see how many places are full. We still have a couple more slots for when more people move in. Our finances. Let's see, our upkeep, the well, and then a bunch of our buildings all cost upkeep to maintain. But looks like we're making plenty of money off of our peasants from taxes. So, oh, and the family aid. Your family expects the recurring payment. So there it is. It's all covered here. We're still making 29 income. Okay, our resource graph from the past 30 days. Oh, and we can look at any of these things. Homegrown, vegetables. Nobody's grown anything in their backyards yet. Vegetables, though. We do have some vegetables. Oh, and let's welcome these two people to our village. I thought we were at 18. Ah, oh, there it is, 20. That was weird. It took a second for both of them to move in. Uh, consumed and produced. That's cool. And then we haven't done any of these other things yet, so... Uh, yeah, the coin's all over the place. No worries there. A production control. So, ah, it tells you exactly how long it takes for each thing to process. And looks like we can create planks, but we haven't done that yet. Oh, and then our history log. Look, lo lovely bunch of stuff. So, we need to produce 15 coal. We have a coal maker assigned now, so they should start doing their job soon enough and we want to assign a fabling using the overview menu okay we can do that so why don't we try it out and assign one more person to the worker camp like we said we wanted to do let's claim our reward always nice to get more money and what the heck is this? Territories? Oh, here we go, finally. We can purchase a new territory. So which way out do we want to expand? This place has pig herds, ruins, lots of trees, and another stone deposit. So we already have our stone going. I'm not sure if we need another one or if the resource like depletes. Uh, we might just want more space to move around. Ooh, an iron deposit. Actually, I think we might want to get our iron industry online. Although I'm not sure how we're going to get up the hill. We're going to have to figure that out. Okay. Or do we want to move towards the lake? I might want to move towards the lake. We've got Bob Bart's Bob Barkskin over here. We have fish. We can start a fishery. And more stone. Yeah, let's let's buy this tile to start and maybe we can go build over to that one. Oh no, we got ruins in this way too. That's just as interesting. And the pig herds. You know what? I feel like our town's going going in this direction. So let's try this one. I don't know. I know that was a lot of indecision for one decision. Let's claim our reward for that. We've reached the small village milestone and uh, we're bringing joy through our inn. Escape to get back. And look at all this new space we've got to build out, too. And these ruins to explore. And these pigs to exploit. Oh, little flying pigs! Pump, plump and friendly animal. The wings are not functional. No, they're too... They're too chubby to get to fly. Wah. That's cute, though. All right. Meanwhile, our coal is naturally going along and producing, and then we have to produce some planks, build that messenger's guild so we can send some messengers by assigning a messenger and interact with the 
the world, the larger world map. Oh, we got views too. Let's see, we got the standard view, desirability view. Obviously, this is the bad zone. This is the nice zone. Uh, town. Okay, we're building up to that. The inhabitants. Ah, so we can see what's almost full. Most of our housing's full. Most of our workplaces have been assigned. We've got nobody unemployed at the moment. Uh, we're building up to make some more room for some more people to move in because we're reached our limit. We've got two days. Can we do it? Can we get one of these houses finished? Can I assign a prioritize this construction? Let's let's get this done. Oh, and we got a new message too. No vi No vegetable left behind. Princess B, we would like to try out each vegetable to see which one the population prefers. Could you help us get started? If I do, I'll get a reward. Ooh, I don't want to lose though. That's so many That's so many things. So I would have to build four more farms. To get this done. Uh, do I really want to focus on that? I don't feel like we've got enough people. We're going a little too slow for, for these quests. I don't want to lose. You know, you don't have to take every quest. You don't, you know. I know, it might, maybe it's not optimal. But, you know, I don't want to just be building farms for the sake of building farms. I want to, you know, kind of naturally decide what our village needs and work from there. This space I want to use up for more housing so that we have a nice strong village center and then people will come and work out from there. See only one of two visitors. Oh. Hold on. I can't. I can't. You sure I don't uh, oh I don't have a choice. You haven't given me a choice. I didn't build my housing up fast enough. See, this is what I'm talking about. If I can't get the housing done fast enough, how am I going to build five more farms in who knows how long? I didn't look at the time, but I just didn't feel like we had it. Uh, plus, we have to build the Messenger's Guild and our sawmill and then have enough people to employ there. And then, yeah, maybe I should build a couple more farms to feed all these folks, but... One thing at a time, one thing at a time. Uh, let's get this done first. Build a little house there. Make sure we get enough housing going so that we've got a buffer zone so we're not losing out on people joining us in our village. And let's take a look at this sawmill. Once again, undesirable. You know what I think I'm going to do is I will buy this territory up here so that we can expand our industry up in that direction with the undesirable stuff like oh i don't need the lumber mill i want the sawmill the sawmill can go over here right in the middle of all this stuff and here's the messengers guild so we don't have enough coin we'll just wait a minute for that oh and it needs planks and coal to be created or no that's stone but it needs planks and we we got to build the sawmill first then produce the planks then build the messengers guild i see the 10 planks are basically required to build it so that's one step one and step two really and finally our houses are finished oh and looks like we're gonna need another well somewhere because our current one is just barely not filling the area uh, this guy can go well here I guess and my while we're at it let's build another house around it This guy will have a bit smaller of a backyard, just because he's beside the well. And we'll build this in just two secs once we get some more money. 
See, I'm getting money every month, but I'm not getting more nobility, so I don't know if that would have been worth the trade. You know, I can just be a little patient. And you don't have to watch, because I'll, I'll cut the video for the most part. When we're going slow, we're having a nice chill time, we're building this up. But I'll still try to cut out a lot of the fat. Maybe like this. This this could be cut. Maybe. There we go. Uh, goodbye, trees. Okay, so I think as soon as I enter into the yellow zone here, that's where we're going to run into some undesirability. So I'm going to make sure that the houses stay away from that. And just plan out some more house areas here. Even if I don't have the money to build them all just yet. invite both the visitors whoa okay so this is how you build up a hill I guess you can build road up a hill interesting Uh, looks like the stone deposits do have a limit, so eventually we will mine this to oblivion and then need to move on to another expanded stone. This one seems like it's going to last a while, though, once we build our, our camp on this. And we're going to have to unlock our hero by growing a little bit more before we can go to these ruins. But for now, we're just kind of waiting to grow a little bit. Oh, and we got a new message. Print small industrialization. We love watching our industry grow. Let our hands dirty with some new production places. So let's build some industry. Build three resource production structures. So I think we could probably get away with that. Let's try 30 day deadline. If we prioritize some of our buildings, maybe we can get this done. Let's see if we can do it. Three resource production structures. So, resource production structures. So, we're building the sawmill. Let's make sure this is priority. Uh, that should happen pretty soon. It's like almost done, right? And then two more production so well we want to build the stone camp so let's do that oh no do we have to unlock a big stone quarry ah i bet i have to unlock this before we can do the big one because the stone camp it will not build there okay so in that case the we already have our coal maker and oh well, We've got a stockpile. Maybe we can build another stockpile and that will help us fulfill our needs there in that regard. Um, and maybe we'll build another... Oh, we need 
need some more coin. Maybe we'll build another log lumber camp in the meanwhile too to get some of this lumber over in this direction now that we've unlocked the zone. And hopefully between those two things that will help us fulfill our goals. Ah, uh, we still didn't build enough housing in time. Darn it. Secret Santa? Secret Santa, what a childish game. It is below me and my stature. Unfortunately for you, I wasn't given any instructions. So enjoy this. You deserve it. From your Secret Santa. 40 coal. Ah, we'll start placement of material coffer. Interesting. Is this like our marketplace? Maybe I should put this in the middle of town here. Something like this, maybe? Beside the well? Yeah, let's, let's try that. And meanwhile, it's finally winter time. I think we've got hopefully enough food. Yeah, that should last us plenty of time. And let's get our lumber camp set up here. We want to get all of these trees. I'm willing to sacrifice that one tree in order to get the rest of them back one tile further. Get that built. And we'll just wait a minute and then we can build the stockpile beside it. And hopefully they can do that all within the next 27 days since they've already got a head start on this guy here. There we go, we can build the stockpile now, and we can assign some people to this lumber camp over here. Should we build the forester's hut on this one too? Maybe. This does seem like a nice area to have, but we'll give them some time to clear out the zone right beside them. Not waste a tree here. Okay, we've got enough coal and vegetables stored for winter, which is great. <laughs> Looks cold out there. Oh, look. My wand has shrunk. Um, excuse me? D do y'all know about shrinkage? Alright, looks like we can welcome two new visitors, but we can't because we've run out of space. And unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to dismiss them. I'm not sure how, they'll, how long they stick around for waiting for me to welcome them, but... Maybe I'll just leave this up here. Oh, and they leave in three days. That makes sense. Will I have enough space to welcome them within the next three days is the question. Uh-oh. We just... We went down quite a bit <laughs> in food from a hundred and something days to like two... I thought we had like 200 something days like a minute ago. Now we only have 55. Okay, Secret Santa. Well, it looks like our Secret Santa is saving us with vegetables. Uh, it's one of my favorite traditions and always cheers me up in the dark of winter. I was advised that this is not a fun gift, but I love it and I hope you do too. I do love it. Thank you, Secret Santa. I'm not sure why we're getting two Secret Santa gifts, but I don't mind. Uh, I wasn't informed I had to 
reciprocate with anybody either, so we'll see about that. And looks like I've got another, basically like a market stall for vegetables here. Okay, let's go. These guys, they're gonna leave. We're not gonna get this house built in time. We're trying to prioritize to get this 14... In 14 days, we need to finish the stockpile here. Please, please. Another world event. Our club stands proud with our love for stones. But the other fablings seem to mock us for our beliefs. Can you help us show them the honor of stone gathering? Uh, let's see. Gather 15 stone. I'm hoping that that is... easy enough to do. I wish I could look at my ledger right now to see what my production rate is. Let me... Let me go take a look. Stone. Uh, produced. 10 stone over the last 30 days. 15 stone. 10 stone. I'm not sure why it's inconsistent, but there we go. We did it. We got the stockpile down. We built three different things. We successfully did our quest, and we got some more nobility out of that. Nice. We still need to get our sawmill employed with some people, but nobody's available because we haven't finished building enough houses to welcome new people. And I think our stone camp will deliver on us the 15 stone within the next 30 days. It looks like our graph, we build at hopefully 25 a month at least. But, I mean, I think thankfully, so why, why do we only have 59 days we got we just got another hundred vegetables delivered to us and our hunger of days only went up by like four for a hundred vegetables dang i'll have to figure out what their consumption rates are and make sure we have enough farms to supply our town uh but yeah look i've we've built perfectly far enough away Ah, uh, sorry visitors, I really wish I could help you out here, but we need to finish building some more homes for y'all. This, this house is almost done, I think. Let's prioritize this. Maybe we can get some of these visitors in before we run out of time here. Oh, look, there we go. Let's get them in here. Thank goodness. And we got a new world event. Making the stock, the first stock. Your settlement advisor is all up in arms. He won't stop yelling about how vital it is to gather as much as we can, as fast as we can, so we can have big stockpile of resources in preparation for what the future holds. I think that sounds reasonable. So 90 days to gather all of this stuff. I hope we can do it. I think 90 days is enough. Oh, geez. I don't, I don't know, actually. We won't make enough stone unless we can unlock the quarry in that amount of time. These are, these are big decisions. I think I'm gonna try to go for it and hope for the best, but we're gonna have to start building like crazy. And to make up time here. So I hope I hope our fablings can build fast enough. You know what I'm gonna do right away actually is build another laborer's hut. Just uh, right over here, I think. And that way we can hire some more laborers to kind of get some of these buildings going and use our new population on that.
And look at that, it's spring again. It's been a year in game basically since we, I think we started in the spring. So that seems like a good place to leave it for now. I know we're just still in the middle of our tutorializing and going through the initial build here, but our little village is coming along. It's a quaint little town and uh, our nice little industry area, our cute little housing district. And we're only going to grow out from here and have some more fun. So I hope you're having fun and we'll enjoy this little series of town building as we move along at our just relaxed pace here. So I again, thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye.